Einstein. Time to hit the rack. Okay. You ready for that test tomorrow? I don't know about Spanish. I know I need to take Spanish anyway. Because the Spanish settled California. Spanish was spoken here before English, that's why. Language is an elective with regular students. Other people have always been learning our language. It's time that we learn their language. Dad? Can we leave early tomorrow? Sure. We have to leave at 6 in order to get you in school in time for your test. You have something on your mind? I want to see Mom. It's going to be working after I finish my exams. Sure. Thanks. De nada. Pretty good. Muy bueno. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for stopping by, but you could have given me a warning. I always loved the way you looked in the mornings. I know. That's why you're living in the wilderness with the moose. There are no moose in the Sierras. Are there, Cody? I don't think so. Cantaloupe, antelope, moose. What's the difference, huh, boy? Paul's hunting moose. He's bagged all kinds of trophies. Who's Paul? My mom's new boyfriend. He's very nice. And he's very elegant. Thank you. He's a ski instructor. Oh, yeah? Is he working towel? Not yet. He's looking for a job. Thought your mom's here. Oh, hi, handsome. Mm -hmm. Jesse, Cody, hey. Whoa, Rumi. What a nice surprise. Hey, oh, Scott, you better hurry. Paul's going to come by and pick you up early. We're going cross country skiing in the mountains. All right. What about school? Oh, we can miss one day. It's been such a long time since Scott was out doing anything macho with a real man. Hey, Cody, let's go upstairs. Well, I gotta get ready for work. Hey, thanks for looking after Scott, hon. Uh, I like doing things for a man. I just wish he was a little older. So, when are you gonna smarten up and get back with your old lady? Marge, don't start with that again, will you please? I know, it's none of my business. But a good woman deserves a good man. And I think I got myself a winner this time, Jesse. Well, I'm happy for you. Thanks. Yeah, it's about time, March. You big lug. <clears throat> I wonder if Paul's planning on doing any honey. It's still deer season. Is he a hunter? Yeah. I bet he's a great shot. He also likes to fish. He's a lot like your dad, don't you think? Well, my dad doesn't like to hunt. He knows a lot about weapons, but just doesn't like to shoot things. Are you taking all this stuff for one day? New skis. I can't wait to head up that mountain. Come on, Cody, we're gonna be late. Be right there. See you, Scott. See you later. I hope this guy Paul works out. Scott seems real anxious to have him for dad. What do you think of Paul? Well, he didn't talk very much, but he's smooth. You know what I mean, Jesse? He's a little too smooth. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe not. Oh, let's just forget about it. Come on. Bye, Cody. Bye, babe. Cody, have you met this guy, Paul? Yeah, once. What do you think of him? I don't know. He's all right, I guess. Nothing else? Well, he doesn't exactly seem the type that Marge would like. Well, if you want to survive a long manhood, son, never guess what women think or like. What I really mean is, he just doesn't seem the type that would make a big play for Marge. I don't want to sound disrespectful, but this guy, I'll forget it. I know. Dogs and kids, we always know the good guys from the bad guys.
like Andy Mallory's arrived. Who's he? He's our ambassador to the United Nations and probably our next Secretary of Defense. You just plunk civics, boy. You don't take civics. You start reading the newspapers. <laughs> Marge's boyfriend? Yeah. Hey, Paul! Oh, hi, you're Scott's friend, aren't you? Yeah, Cody Hawks. My father, Jesse. How do you do, Mr. Hawks? Call me up. I know, I've heard a lot about you, Paul, from Scott. Says you're a good man. He's a great kid. I love him. He needs it. So does his mom. Yes, that's true. Well, I have to be going. Pleasure to meet you. Cody? you to go in. It just feels strange going in a schoolhouse again. Son, nobody's got anything on you. You'll do just fine in there. Yeah, but there's so many people. They affect my concentration. Better not. Now get going. They're expecting you in the office. Good luck, son. <sighs> Thanks. Sure. How long do you think it'll take? An hour, maybe two. I'll have to sort it and fax it to us. Why, who is he? It's Marge Russell's boyfriend. His name is Paul Meard. Oh, yeah, she talks about him all the time. How long has this guy been in her life? About two weeks. Never seen him, though. I have. There's something about this guy that bothers me. His face. It's like I've seen it before in a bad context. FBI mugshot? All of a sudden. I think maybe Interpol. There's something on him. We'll have it. Funny, it's a problem. Dan! Yeah? What about Marge? What about her? What are you gonna say to her? You're gonna talk to her, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna break it to her, though. You need any help? No, son, you've got your job, I got mine. I don't envy you yours. Me neither. Look, maybe you could wait a little while until I get some concrete evidence on it. Wait. I know I've seen that face before. And I gotta convince Marge that he's using her for some reason. It's a shame she's a nice woman. Yeah, she is a nice woman. Take it easy, Heather. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm gonna have to borrow one of your trucks soon. Sure, go ahead. Thanks. Hi, Marge. Hi. One more minute and I was in the shower. May I come in for a moment? Sure. 